Welcome to the ITU Plenipotentiary Conference PP22 here in Bucharest, Romania, where we're here in the ITU studio built in the Palace of the Parliament. And I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Peter Oshko, who is the Deputy Minister for Digitization and uh, Innovations for the Ministry of Industry and Trade for the Czech Republic. Well, pleasure to be here. Thank you for the invitation. Thank you very much for, for, for joining us here. Now, I wanted to start off by asking you, what are the uh, Czech uh, EU presidency priorities in the field of telecommunications and digital transformation? Yes, uh, thank you for the question. Uh, Czech Republic has a presidency of the Council of the European Union for the second half of uh, 2022. And the digital agenda belongs to the, actually the, to the most extensive ones. Uh, of course, our presidency is influenced by what, what, uh, by what is happening uh, at Ukraine, the, uh, the Russian aggression, and the energy prices. But uh, but still, uh, still the digital agenda is uh, very very important. Uh, uh, given what is happening in the world, I, I would say that one of the highest priorities is cybersecurity. Uh, we do uh, a lot of events related to cybersecurity during our presidency, but we also. Uh, push a uh, uh, quick implementation of new legislation uh, of the EU in this area. Actually, we have already uh, almost finished uh, the uh, Network Infrastructure Services Directive and, um, uh, and also now the Commission has proposed a new Cyber Resilience Act uh, where we want to uh, actually uh, make some progress during our presidency. But uh, it's not only cybersecurity. Uh, what is very important uh, in, in terms of uh, legislative files that are on the table, I would uh, especially mention uh, the Data Act that uh, actually uh, is a file that should allow for, uh, for actually higher uh, data sharing uh, in relation to data from the, from the industry and the uh, better approach of SMEs uh, with the, the idea to actually ignite more innovation based on, uh, on, on, on using this data, uh, including, uh, including, for example, <coughs> provision of data, uh, data to the government uh, in the emergency situations and so on. So this is one big file. And the second file uh, that uh, I would uh, stress is Artificial Intelligence Act that um, was proposed already uh, a year before in 2021 by the Commission. So already Slovenian and the French presidency have done a lot on this file, but uh, we would like to finalize it and hopefully to uh, find, a, uh, find a consensus uh, between the member states and to reach the general approach. There are a few other priorities like um, elect uh, European Electronic ID or what is uh, relevant uh, to the uh, ITU conference very much uh, is, uh, is a long awaited uh, Connectivity Infrastructure Act that should be published in uh, two weeks by the Commission. And uh, it's an important file that should uh, actually uh, make, uh, easier, uh, make easier to invest into development of digital infrastructure in the EU. So, so basically this, but um, of course, this is also a lot of small, smaller things that we need to do during our presidency. And uh, how do these priorities align with the work of ITU? I, I think there are, there are many, uh, many synergies. Uh, I have already mentioned the Connectivity Infrastructure Act, uh, and of course, uh, the ITU is calling very much uh, for faster, uh, faster deployment of digital infrastructure. Uh, uh, I was also happy to, to hear uh, today very much about human-centric uh, approach uh, to, uh, to development of all the digital technologies, and this is again something uh, that connects the, the work of ITU and, and uh, uh, EU. Uh, for example, Artificial Intelligence Act uh, is actually based on the, uh, the human-centric uh, principles, and um, uh, this is something that, that we've, uh, we really have in uh, common. Generally, EU is uh, very, very keen on close cooperation with the ITU. And how do you think that this year's plenipotentiary conference will steer the union for the next four years? Uh, actually, um, I, I have a very good feeling uh, from what, uh, what I had yesterday and today, actually uh, already the already day before the official start of the, uh, of the ITU conference, there was a ministerial roundtable organized here in Bucharest, and um, uh, actually um, the, the output of this ministerial roundtable is so-called Bucharest Declaration on building a better digital future. 
uh, that, uh, that Asha speaks about uh, connecting the unconnected and, uh, uh, and again uh, reiterates the, the topic of uh, human, uh, human-centric approach. And um, I really think that uh, this kind of uh, uh, consensus of, 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 uh, of countries uh, uh, can be can be very very meaningful for the future uh, the development of digital economy uh, in uh, in the world and the ITU plays a very important role in this and this conference is is the, the, the place where we agree on the future strategy so I really believe that thanks to this uh, uh, meeting we are uh, we are able to actually uh, accelerate uh, the better uh, digital future of all the citizens in the world. Very good point. Deputy Minister, well, thank you so much for joining us in the studio and we hopefully we'll catch up with you again very soon. Thank you very much for the invitation.